What mother don't care for her child? But when the devil comes and he corrupts the mind, then there comes a place and time where an adult no, don't know actually what they're thinking. Yeah. You, you really don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So God sends the word yes. to try to enlighten you, try to shake you up, try to jar you yeah. into a reality. Yeah. And I said, if you don't do it for yourself, at least do it for your children. Yeah. Because heaven and hell is real. Yeah. No wonder they put that demon off TV. Yeah. But every time they put a demon on, 10 more come on television. Yeah. I was watching this Juanita Bauer, Amen. supposed to be an international evangelist, mm -hmm. accumulated millions, yes. mansions. Mm -hmm. Her and her husband get, a, get in a fight in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Now her husband's supposed to be a bishop. Mm -hmm. She's supposed to be an international evangelist. They fight in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. People see them. Now she's filing for divorce. Amen. Uh, where in the Bible did it say a woman could divorce her? Yeah, I thought y'all said y'all were seen. you right quick and then we're going to come back to Revelation. Don't let me lose Revelation 13. Matthew 7th chapter. Start right in around verse 17. Back up to verse 16. Ye shall know them by their fruit. You shall know them by their life. To men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles. Uh -huh. Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. Every righteous person is going to reflect righteousness within them. Because the righteousness does not come from the person. The righteousness comes from God. Right. If God is in you, God has to reflect out of you. But if God ain't in you, I don't care how you sing, how you high shama makeup, I don't care what you do, I don't care how many members you got, I don't care how big your church is, if you don't have God on the inside, you can reflect that on the outside. Please, please. A corrupt tree, a sinful life, uh -huh. a sinful character yes. Yes. is going to reflect a sinful life and a sinful character. Amen. You are no more than your character. Yes. This man who's the Democratic nominee, yes. Obama, Amen. he gave a speech the other day, shook up a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. He gave a speech about young men being a father rather than making babies, be a father. Yes. And there's a difference between making babies and being a father. Amen. And it shook up Jesse Jackson. <laughs> he got on television and he didn't know the camera or the microphone was off. The microphone was on, but his interview hadn't taken place, so he didn't know the microphone was live. So he made a remark to the person next to him about he was going to castrate Obama for his remarks he made. Amen. Now why do you think Jesse Jackson upset? Amen. Maybe he ain't the father he claimed to be. Amen. How can you be a father and you got a family here and babies over young? Amen. Maybe it shook up Jesse Jackson. Amen. Hallelujah. But I'm here to let everybody know God is exposing and shaking up. Amen. Hallelujah. I spoke about Jesse Jackson years ago. Yeah. I said he's a hypocrite. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. But the people have made him an icon. Mm -hmm. Made him a millionaire. Yeah. They made this uh, uh, Juanita Byron an icon and a millionaire. Yeah. Just like they do T.D. Jakes and, uh, and uh, uh, Fred K. Price. All of them have made icons and multi millionaires. Three. But it's because the people are stupid yeah. and they follow stupidity. Yeah. So they go for the con game and they don't go for the reality. Yeah. But I'm here to expose the con game that you can follow the reality that you got a mind to hear what thus saith the Lord. Praise God. 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 Praise Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Uh -huh. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Every life mm -hmm. that does not produce the righteousness of God is going to be cut down and cast into the lake of fire. Amen. Now, Juanita Byron ought to take a seat in the back of the church Amen. and be quiet. Amen. And then let God minister her and save her soul. Amen. 
and stop trying to be an influence to people. Amen. You're not right. Amen. You never was right. Amen. With your makeup on and preaching. With your, I don't know whether you got a facelift or not, but I know you look awful lot like Janet Jackson. Amen. And I know what Janet Jackson got. Amen. And Michael Jackson too. Amen. See, Michael won't look like Janet. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All of you need to get saved. And you get saved by the word. Yeah. I'm not trying to knock you down. I'm trying to get you right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And take off that pride. Yeah. And the government now, I understand, is trying to take her homes and her property. She, ha she hid behind the tax code. Mm -hmm. You know, they got a tax code for church. Yeah. So she bought this mansion. And she said, well, this mansion really is not for me. But of course, she was living there. But the mansion is for the church. <laughs> you let's... You let some of them sisters sit in the back try to go to a mansion. Yeah. Oh, they, she might let them in uh, for a minute or two. Don't let it be raining outside. Well, uh, can I spend a night in the room? Well, what if I want to move in? Since it belonged to us. You'll find out well, where I need a bar room coming from. Hallelujah. Then they had her husband on and he's trying to apologize for what he did. Amen. How are you going to apologize for being a devil? Amen. The only thing you can do is repent Amen. and get right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That mess didn't even start in the parking lot. That mess been going on. Yeah. But they hear it from the people. Yeah. And they don't want to eat. Neither one of them don't want to lose the money. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about a whole lot of money coming in. $60,000, $70,000, $80,000 a throw every yeah. Sunday yeah. probably. Yeah. They don't want to lose that kind of money. Yeah. Praise God. Yes, but if you're not right, Amen. sooner or later, yes. God is going to throw the cover off of you. Yes. And they're still trying to maintain that same lifestyle. Amen. I wonder who's going to go to that church. Amen. Nothing but a fool. Amen. We'll go to that church now. And there'll be plenty of fools that will go. Amen. It's saying how foolish people are. Amen. Why do you want to make somebody a millionaire and you hardly can make it from week to week with your paycheck? What is wrong with you? And you're sending your ties into devils and they're wearing fancy clothes and, and Mercedes Benz and, and praise God and somebody just bought T.D. Jakes or what's a, what them kind of Bentley. Yeah, Bentley. Like you need a Bentley. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Why couldn't you take that money, mm -hmm. give it to a holiness church, yeah. where he could divide that money up and possibly buy four Chevrolets yeah. and give it to people? Yeah. I'm not going to use Chevrolet, I'm going to use it. And give it to people who have a need. Yeah. Why would you call yourself saved and buy a Bentley for a preacher who don't need no Bentley? Yeah. Might have three or four of them already. Hallelujah. This world is going mad. Yes. But if you listen to me, I'll get you right again. Hallelujah. Give me revelation. Did that, that fix it by their fruit? Amen. Wherefore, by their fruit, you shall know them. By their fruit, you shall know them. By their lifestyle. And again, church, hear me. The only proof you have of a saved life is not how they speak in tongues. Right. And I said before, I am not against speaking in tongues. Right. Mark 16 is plain. Amen. Amen. These signs shall follow them. Oh, yes. They shall speak in new tongues. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to say everybody you see in church, everybody you see running, everybody you see speaking in tongues is not saved. Yeah. You got to look at their lifestyle. Yeah. Their lifestyle bears witness of them. It'll prove who they are. Praise God. If they come to church and they don't have a long dress on, or a long skirt on, or a long robe on, they're not saved. Look at your fingernails. If they got a, a touch of paint, they're not saved. Hallelujah. Have they been to the beauty shop lately? Like Saturday for their Sunday uh, show. Amen. They're not saved yeah. by the fruit. You'll know them. Yeah. That's why they don't like the word of God too much. Amen. They don't like the sanctified church too much. Amen. But you can't do nothing with the sanctified church. Oh, that's God's church. And the gates of hell should not prevail against God's church. Yeah. 